Okay, so this should give you a relatively good idea of what the GREAT course is going to be like. Um, we're going to be starting here um, where my cursor is. This is actually a driving range, um, so it's relatively flat and really open. It doesn't bottleneck for quite a while. Uh, if you can follow along on the map, it'll give you more of a 3D view. You can see some of the rolling hills. The darker spots are where trees um, and woods would be. Obviously, you're going to be running uh, through paths in those sections. So I just really want to give you uh, a solid idea of, of what this can look like um, so that you have an opportunity to do some imagery. So here we go. Go ahead and start the race. It's going to start really flat. Um, the race is going to get out fast. And you're going to want to get out fast. Um, everybody I've talked to that has run this course is both a collegiate athlete and a high school athlete has said that getting out hard and fast is really essential here. Um, it's easier to get yourself into that front group and maintain than it is to um, get out and try to move up. So uh, here we're running through a wooded section. There's going to be a trail through here. We're going to point one. Okay, you can see it's pretty flat, not super rolling. Coming over the top of a hill here, working our way down. Okay, and we're a little over 500 meters in at this point, at point one. So to give you a little bit of perspective, point one is on the left-hand side on the map is right about here. And so we're going to turn, head towards point two. Stays relatively flat. You're on a fairway for a good portion of it. Work your way up over this hill. Work your way through some woods. Again, these dark sections are woods. Come over to the street. I'm going to take a right and run along the street. You'll be uh, between grass and a part wooded section. Uh, if I remember right, this is all pine. So there's some loose pine uh, needles and things through here as well. Okay, so now we're at point three. If you look at the map on the right, point three is right over here. We're just past the 1K mark. So the first kilometer is, is pretty flat. Uh, it's pretty wide open, really doesn't bottleneck too much. Um, it's relatively fast. So you're going to want to make sure that you're getting out and putting yourself in a good position. Uh, so now we're going to kind of cross where the start line went through. Um, head back through that driving range section where it's relatively open. Still pretty open here, still pretty open. We're going to come to point five. We just crossed the um, starting place and we're going to make a swooping left hand turn through here. So point five is right in here if you look at the map on the left. Still pretty flat through here. Making our way to point six. Point six is going to follow the side of a fairway. Going to swoop right and now the hills begin. Okay so we're about one and a half K in. We're about a mile in right here. Um, and at about a mile in is where our hilly section is going to start. It's not too much yet, but it's definitely a lot more rolling through here than it was through that first mile. Again, this is a lot of woods too. Uh, it gets a little bit more narrow back here. Um, again, everybody I've talked to said it's easier back in this section. Put yourself up in a position um, to, to compete. And then just you got to hold on, you got to grind, you got to be mentally strong through here. Okay, so now we're through point eight. We're making this right-hand turn here, almost to the 2K mark. Long straightaway here. Good place to maybe sight your teammates, figure out where you are in the race. This is probably uh, a good section for you to start moving. Uh, if you need to move, if you found yourself out, a little bit uh, further back than you wanted to be in that first mile. Um, because after we 
get through this long straightaway and we make uh, the right hand turn it's going to start getting real hilly really narrow big downhill here um, so right here we're right in this section before we make this right hand turn so look in the map on the left this is where we are right now have a big downhill through here drop those arms shake it out take a deep breath we make this swooping right and then it's going to be super rolling narrow hilly back in this section all the way from about two and a half k through four k uh, so that that mile right there is going to be a really tough section of the race where we're going to have to be very mentally tough and we have to put ourselves into a position mentally and physically um, to to be to be competing there so here we go I'm just starting to make this swooping right hand turn through here okay we're still pretty flat it's not getting too too hilly yet still relatively flat and now the hills are going to begin if you look at the bottom right hand corner of my screen through here you're going to see that the elevation is going to be changing quite a bit. Um, it's going to get really hilly. So right now we're, we're right, right in here, right in here. And it's going to get really hilly for this K and a half uh, through this mile all the way to 4K. We have to run really tough back here. We have to keep our gaps uh, between our teammates small, and we need to keep ourselves competing towards the front of this race. Notice elevation change happening fast lots of up and downs you need to find your rhythm you need to use the downhills to work the uphills and you need to run strong on those uphills get that forward lean get those arms moving really need to feel confident through here you need to trust in your training you can see it's really rolling up and down up and down kind of like the back section of angel through here this is a place where we can really make our race. We can really make a race happen back here. This is where if we can stay together as a team, we can blow people out of the water. Okay, so right now we're at point 16. Point 16 is right here. Uh, we're about to make a sweeping left hand turn back. We have about uh, maybe six to 700 meters left of this really rolling tough terrain. Okay, so I'm making that sweeping left hand turn around that <clears throat> around that uh, pond there still working through this rolling terrain up and down up and down okay continue running tough again find that rhythm work on dropping your arms taking a deep breath pushing it all out gathering yourself right now we're in the last K right now we're right here at the 4k mark this last K is flat and downhill if we're not in position at this point making up spots is going to become very difficult everybody's going to feel good and running strong in this last K we have to make sure we're in the right place as a team we have to make sure our gaps are small we have to make sure we're running in our pack and running with the guys that we're supposed to be running with so you got a nice long downhill through here. We've lost almost 50 feet of elevation through that. It stays flat, doesn't really change much. Okay, so right now if you look at the map on the left, we're right in this section here. Again, it's flat, a little bit of rolling back in this section. Nothing like what we saw in those middle miles. We're going to get to the high point here of our last mile. Okay, now we're, right now we're right about here. And from here on out, it's, it's everything you've got. We're 800 meters out. We have a half mile to go. It's all downhill from here. It's all rolling. 
rolling downhill in your favor to open up your stride. Keep those legs moving, pushing hard, just ready to go, ready to give it everything you've got. Give yourself a chance, give your teammates a chance, just really push. You can see the finish line come over the top, it's a huge open field, there's going to be people lining to start finish. It's a really long finish. You can start seeing the finish line probably 400 meters out. But it's all downhill. You can start your kick earlier than you think you can here. As long as you can open your stride and use that downhill, you're going to do great. And we just finished. Start and finish are in the same place. Okay, use this to your advantage. Use this video to help you visualize. Think about where you need to run strong, where you need to run strategically, where you need to find your teammates, where you need to just forget about what your mind says and just do what your body tells you. You guys are going to do great. I know it. Um, use this tool to help you out and get yourself mentally prepared.